you've heard that a picture is worth a thousand words, but have you heard that a video is worth 1.8 million words? Dr. James McQuivy declared this in his study, How Video Will Take Over the World, where he goes through the math to prove this assumption. Not only that, people are visual in nature, so they tend to retain more information in image form. It's clear that everywhere you look, online video is popular. You see it on every type of social media platform, including Facebook via Facebook Live and of course on YouTube. But, what is a shy person supposed to do if they want to get involved with video marketing? No worries. Even though you're shy you can make video marketing work for you. First, let's talk about the importance and benefits of video marketing. There are numerous benefits of video marketing that make it super important to get involved even if you're shy. The benefits are so great that you don't want to miss them. If you knew that just by adding video to your marketing strategy you could multiply your results, why wouldn't you do it? Being shy shouldn't prevent you from enjoying all these benefits. It's amazing, but you don't even have to make especially long videos to benefit from better brand awareness. A 60 second explainer video can go a long way to helping people get to know you and realize what you can do for them. It's important to be yourself, make videos with your audience in mind, and understand your brand identity as you go forward with making a video for marketing purposes. People love a good story and video is the perfect medium to use to tell stories. You can tell more complex stories and keep your viewers engaged longer too. Plus, your viewers are much more likely to share a video story than a written article, especially if you've taken the time to consider your audience and what they want to know. When you do a video and people see your face and hear your voice, they start to think they really know you. This builds that all-important know, like, and trust factor for your audience, so that they are not afraid to spend money with you and trust you to help them with the problem you purport to solve. Video is fast becoming the favorite method for audiences to get information. In fact, some studies suggest that 80% of internet traffic will come from video by 2020. Part of the reason is that people are more likely to share video, comment on video, and engage with you when you make videos. When people can see you, they develop more trust for you. But don't worry, you can make videos without being seen and only heard and still develop trust if you just can't for whatever reason make a video with your face in it. Podcasts also build trust, so combine a PowerPoint with your voice to create videos and you'll be amazed at how much more trust you can develop with your audience. And more trust means a bigger return on investment. Google search is still the number one search engine and they rank video higher than text. Learn as much as you can about rich video snippets to enhance your SEO. A rich video snippet allows a Google search to display a video next to the search results that appear on Google. With video, you also end up with more backlinks, fewer bounces, and higher click-through rates. Since they're highly shareable, you improve your social signals exponentially. 
You can use a plugin for WordPress to help called all-in-one schema rich snippets. HTTPS colon slash slash wordpress.org slash plugin slash all-in-one schema or rich snippets slash Fifty percent of all mobile data happens to be attributed to video. Because of that fact alone, using video is going to make your brand more present online since more people use mobile today than even use personal computers. It's harder to read text on a mobile device so it makes total sense that video gets more attention on mobile. If you have a difficult concept to explain to your audience, using video is going to make it so much simpler. From showing someone how to cook, to how to use a physical product, to demonstrating an exercise video. Video can do it all. You can also explain simple concepts, so video works no matter what type of information you want to impart to your audience. Due to everything you've read so far, your return on investment is going to explode when you start using video regularly. So many people are using mobile, and so many people need to get to know you first before taking your advice. Using video to accomplish that will make your audience feel a lot better about you and will, therefore, increase your ROI exponentially. If you are a shy person, you may be feeling a little pressure at this point after reading all that information. But no worries, we're going to talk more about what it means to be shy, how being shy feels, and how to deal with it when making videos. If you notice physical sensations in social situations such as sweating, blushing, or shaking, it's likely you are a shy person. You're just not at ease around people that you don't know or in unfamiliar circumstances. But typically, once you get to know people you start to feel more comfortable. Unlike someone with a severe social anxiety disorder, you don't feel shy or uncomfortable in your safe spaces with the people you know and love. Most shy people have the most trouble talking to strangers. And when you make videos that's exactly what you're going to be doing, which is probably why you're so anxious about it. Depending on your level of shyness it may feel impossible today to talk to strangers, mostly because you don't want them to see you shake, sweat, or blush. Often, people would say that you're the quiet one, until you got to know them. When you were in school the teacher wished for 20 more of you but you were probably super uncomfortable and awkward due to your shyness. Being quiet isn't all bad, though. Because the truth is, people don't listen enough, and being quiet gives the other people time to think and contribute. Due to this, remember that pauses are perfectly acceptable as you gather your thoughts during any video you make. Shyness can be a genetic condition but is also influenced by life experiences. Just because your parents may be shy or even if you're shy right now, it doesn't mean you cannot work through the situation and become less affected when you put yourself into situations that evoke a shy response. The biggest thing is to simply be aware of the responses you're having so that you can adjust as needed. While it's likely you'll always be shy, there are ways to do things that you want to do anyway. 
The best way to accomplish this is to stop telling people you're shy, set small goals for putting yourself out there in uncomfortable situations, and to know your strengths so that you can build your confidence level. Some shy people are still extroverts. This can be a very uncomfortable feeling when you're around strangers. You like doing more social things, you like being around people, and you thrive with the attention once you get to know people. If you're an introvert, you're not only uncomfortable around strangers due to shyness, you also get exhausted easily with too much social stimulation. It's okay to respect the fact that you're shy but understand that you can still make videos if you go slowly, deliberately, and with purpose as you incorporate video marketing into your marketing strategy. Most people aren't shy in all situations. Often, they're only shy in certain distinct situations such as being around new people, being around a new crush, or doing things where they are the center of the focus. Obviously, when you create videos you may become the focus, and that is why your shyness is triggered. But it's okay, it can be overcome. First, let's discuss ways that shyness might get in the way of your video marketing efforts so that you know the pitfalls you'll need to overcome depending on your own level of shyness and what you want to accomplish. There are ways that shyness can get in the way of video marketing. This isn't to focus on the negative aspects of shyness but just to explain that being shy does have symptoms that you have to be aware of so that you can mitigate them and work around them when needed. Thankfully, today there is a lot of technology to help. needing other people's approval, when you make videos, whether you're showing your face or just using your voice, or even if you hire a voiceover artist for your PowerPoint based videos you're still going to experience some discomfort associated with getting into video marketing. That feeling of discomfort may be a stumbling block for you. It's important to understand that the only approval you really need is your own, plus enough of your audiences so that they will buy what you're selling. Honestly, no one else matters in this scenario. Physical Symptoms of Shyness For some people, their shyness manifests as a red face, sweating, and or shaking. This can make it super uncomfortable to appear on video or even let people hear your voice due to the shakiness. But, one thing that is true is that typically these physical signs aren't as bad outwardly as they feel inside of your body. Good lighting, excellent sound equipment, and slides can make all the difference. Not understanding your value, sometimes symptoms of shyness can appear due to self-doubt. Some people call it imposter syndrome. When you learn to accept that you are valuable and that you can help people with the knowledge that you have, and understand that you're actually doing a disservice to the world by not giving the information you have to your audience, you can begin to accept that you are valuable, just the way you are. Caring too much about perfection, the fact is that no one is perfect. 
Even the people you think are perfect have problems seeing themselves that way. It's okay to look different, sound different, and be different. Someone will relate to you and in fact, may only relate to you and only be able to get help from you due to who you are and how you are. Don't let them miss out just because you don't think you're good enough. Letting your shyness control your actions can lead to unhappy territory. If you continue to let shyness hold you back from experiencing all the success you're capable of having, you will miss that happiness you crave and most importantly, deserve. You deserve the life you want to live, and you can have it even if you're shy. You can also make videos. The truth is, making great videos and becoming confident doing it takes practice. But it all starts with having a goal in mind, knowing your audience, and then developing a plan to succeed. You need a plan of how to prepare for doing a video, and a plan to deal with nerves and shyness during the video. When you make a video, it's imperative that you understand why you're making it. This is true whether you are shy or not. What is the goal of making it for your audience and for you? It's really like having two goals. The goal you have for your audience is the most important, but the goal you have for yourself and your business is a close second. For example, you may have a goal to build your email list. A good way to do that is to offer a short video-based email course introduced by one video or two, then requiring an email address to see more. Another goal might be to solve one problem for your audience so that they want you to help them solve a bigger problem. Before you even start making videos or offering services or products, you need to first know who your audience is. What are their problems? What keeps them up at night? What excites them? What are their life goals, values, and fears? How does what you do address their issues and solve their problems? For example, let's say that you're a startup business coach. You help stay-at-home moms find a way to earn money from home by providing services to others using the internet and their computers to do it. There are plenty of problems to address such as starting up without a lot of money, gaining confidence, or changing from an employee mindset to a business owner mindset. Once you have worked out the problem and a solution for your target audience and you know what the goal is for your video, it's time to develop talking points for the video. You don't want to write a script. If you do, you're going to sound robotic as you deliver it. Instead, write down the basic points you want to talk about. Then simply talk about them as if you're telling one person. For example, if you want to talk to your audience about developing a healthy money mindset, you might write down three points you want to cover in the video, and a few words to remind yourself of the information that you're going to cover in each point. You can turn this into a PowerPoint presentation that you voice over, either with your picture in it or not. It's easy to do with Microsoft Office 365 and PowerPoint. You don't even need other software now.
Shorter videos are better. It's best to make a series of short videos rather than super long ones. 60 seconds to no more than 10 minutes is long enough. Even 10 minutes is stretching it unless it's inside a course. If you realize you don't need to make the video super long, it will help you stay focused and not feel as if you must give away the farm in each video. Instead of 10 points, like you might make while writing an article or blog post, think more like 3 points or 3 ways or reasons to do something so that you can narrow it down and keep it short. If you make your point, the shorter the video the better. You've heard it before and you know it's true. No one is perfect. Not that vlogger you watch on YouTube or that model you follow on Instagram. It's okay not to appear perfect. In fact, often the people who try to project perfection are the ones who end up being torn down more than the people who aren't afraid to be real and show their imperfections. For example, if you trip over a word or two, don't feel as if you need to redo the recording. You don't. It's perfectly fine and normal. Go watch a few speeches via TED Talks and you will start realizing that the best speakers are the most natural and they do make mistakes, say words wrong, skip a word, must repeat themselves, and aren't perfect. The beauty is, they move on and no one cares. And in fact, People trust them more because they know they're real. It doesn't matter who you are, you are uniquely you. Only you can be you. No one else can be the same person you are. Why would you want to be someone else and not you anyway? It doesn't matter how you look, sound, or anything like that, if people can see you and hear you and get your meaning. That's all that matters. Someone out there will only be able to truly get at whatever it is that you do from you. They may have heard the same thing in different ways a thousand times, but they didn't get it. It didn't click. Not until they heard it directly from you in your special way, anyway. That's why it's so important to be you. Your people are out there waiting for you. This is part of being who you are, but it needs to be said. You don't have to project any type of persona that isn't 100% you when you make a video. If you're not a suit person, don't wear a suit. If you're a thrift shop and garage sale shopper, that's fine, don't pretend to be something else. Find clothing to wear that makes you feel confident and comfortable and don't worry about how the others are doing it. After all, it would be super stressful to start making videos wearing clothing that you don't like, can't keep up with, and aren't comfortable in. 
In fact, you wouldn't stick to making the videos because you wouldn't want to do whatever it is you think you have to do. But if you just stick to your own style, it'll be second nature and not take as long to get ready for recording. Before you record your video, it's important to warm up by going through your talking points and doing a take without recording just to go through the motions. You can go ahead and record, who knows, it might be just how you like it the first time, but this way you can get comfortable with the controls of your camera, test the lighting, the sound, and get used to delivering your message without any pressure. Some people like to get a massage on recording days or do some yoga and breath work to help with relaxation. Yet others find it comfortable to take a hot shower and take their time getting ready for the recording as if it's an event or TV show. It's up to you. Whatever makes you relaxed and feel natural will work. A few minutes before you start your recording, drink some warm tea or warm water to help loosen up your throat. Warm water with lemon will work wonders. Say a nursery rhyme or a tongue twister a few times, blow out your lips and relax your face before you get started. This can help warm you up so that you make fewer mistakes. You can even find warm-ups on YouTube if you do a search for vocal warm-ups for speakers. This can help tremendously with nerves too. But remember that it's normal to feel nervous, even if you're only making a recording and aren't doing the video live yet. Try to think of the nerves as excitement rather than fear. While your videos don't need to be perfect, it is important to set up an environment that you're proud of that looks good due to good lighting and sounds good due to good sound. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on these things. A good earbud set works fine, and for lighting, you can face a window in your home to get good natural lighting. If you do choose to buy lighting, do some research. If you wear glasses, for example, the Diva lights, the round circle lights, will shine off your glasses and make it hard for people to see you. If you're just recording voice for an MS PowerPoint deck, then you don't need to worry about lighting at all. And if you're doing a live event, consider plugging in directly to the internet rather than using wireless to avoid glitches. The best thing you can do for yourself is to create more videos so that you can practice. You can still publish the practices if you want to because you don't want to get into a perfection mindset. Find excuses to make more videos, go live on Facebook more often, and participate with others at their events to help you overcome your nerves. Like most things, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become. Shyness doesn't mean you can't do these things. It just means that it might take you longer to feel comfortable. Or you may always feel super nervous doing it, but you're going to feel amazing for doing it anyway. Your audience will also be happy you're doing it.
Becoming a confident video marketer just comes down to doing it, and then to keep doing it. Even if your first efforts don't get much response, and they likely won't, that's okay because you're going to get better as you keep going. And as you keep going, you're going to grow your audience at the same time. But, you must get started if you want to experience this success. Shyness isn't really a disadvantage when it comes to making marketing videos. If you've made the decision to get into video, whether you're shy or not isn't going to be much of a factor other than the ways your personality will affect others as you move forward. Most people aren't even going to perceive you as shy, but they will see you as kind, caring, and trustworthy. People will find you appealing, even though you're uncomfortable when you're shy but working through it. Most people are going to find you appealing and even charming. A slight blush, a nervous laugh, all of it is usually attractive to others because they know that you're the real thing, and because of that will find you more appealing than someone who is super confident. You will prepare more, your videos are going to be better than other videos automatically just because your shyness is going to ensure that you prepare for unlikely events in advance of them happening. For example, you're much more likely to practice and understand the technology and the subject matter than someone who is overconfident to start with. Thus, you'll probably avoid most problems, or at least be able to deal with them easily. Your shyness comforts others, it might be hard to understand, but many people will find comfort in your shyness. Often, shyness comes off as innocence and that makes people feel at ease. Plus, as a shy person, you're going to be that much more careful to include everyone, whether you're on a Facebook live or a recorded presentation. Your love for helping others will shine through, as a shy person, you're going to want to focus outward rather than inward to create interesting videos. Instead of focusing on how uncomfortable you feel, focus on your audience and how what you're going to tell them will solve their problem and change their life. People will perceive you as trustworthy, you remember that important no, like, trust thing we talked about before? You're not going to have to work as hard to develop it because your nature helps people see you as truthful, reliable, and ethical.
you can demonstrate perseverance. People like to follow others through their journey to self-discovery, and as you make videos that's going to happen to you. You're going to discover that you can do this. If you started making one video a week, by the time a year has passed you'll have 52 videos behind you and a story to tell that can help others. You're likely good at your job, shy, quiet people who have figured out a way to earn money doing quiet things, often behind the scenes things, are usually good at their jobs. That means you know a lot about your topic and even if you don't speak up all the time, you know the answers and could if you wanted to. That's because you tend to listen to what others say and take it to heart. You're intrinsically motivated, while you may allow some people to get to you with their critique, the truth is you don't need comments, good or bad, about your work. You are usually motivated just by doing it, whether someone comments or not, because you don't really like being in the spotlight. This is a great thing because you can choose not to read the comments, hire a VA to do it so they can compile only the important feedback and questions, and keep doing the work. What type of advantages do you think your shyness brings to the table? There has to be something that is an upside to it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be shy. You'd let it go and suddenly stop being shy because it would have no payoff for you. If you can figure out the ways in which shyness in general offers you a payoff, you'll be able to find other ways that your shyness helps you with video marketing. For a shy person, one of the most fearful parts of creating marketing videos is the idea that you must be in the video showing your face. But the truth is, you don't have to. Think of some of the viral videos you shared, not a face to be seen. More than likely. Think of videos that show cats, still images turned into video, clips, cooking, demonstrations and more. None of these have a single face in them live on camera. Yet it works very well. Hire a spokesperson, you can find spokespeople who will use their face in the video instead of yours if you feel the need for a person to be in the video. Look to Fiverr.com or a site like website Talking Heads, https colon slash slash www.websitetalkingheads.com, to find someone who can be a spokesperson for you. It's a lot less expensive than you may think. The only issue with this is that you will need to write a full script that sounds natural and that may take some work, but the models will often work with you on this to help make it work. Get a narrator, 
In the same way that you get a spokesperson, you can also hire a narrator who will read your script, and then you can plug them into the areas of the video that you want them to appear on. Record your slides with a voiceover, you can also do the narration yourself by doing the voiceover with your own voice. No one can see you, you only need to do the talking about the topic yourself. This is easier because you don't need to, and shouldn't, write out a complete script so that you sound natural. Make explainer videos, a great way to make an effective video without being in it is to use software or services that help you make an explainer video. These are videos that explain something to your audience in a short and simple way. Look on Fiverr, try videoexplainers.com or use software like Adobe Spark, https colon slash slash spark slash make slash explainer video makers slash to make an explainer video. Tell a story, when you wanted to make a video without being in it, focus more on the story. You'll need to write the story, then perfect it so that it flows well. Go collect clips, images, animations, and or text for the story and create it in pictures on MS PowerPoint that you then turn to a video with the voiceover story. Chipotle has a great example from a few years ago that you can look at on YouTube. HTTPS colon slash slash U2.B slash DDG Kumi 6 pack. Use awesome photography, when you're not going to appear in the video to distract your viewers from your message, the visuals become more important. Find amazing images that either you take or that you buy from a reputable stock photo company. You'd be amazed at the ways you can combine images to tell a story and get viewers. Add animation, a great way to make your videos more interesting is to add animation to them. Today this is not as hard as it used to be because you can use software and services like Movely.com, and CrazyTalk.Reillusion.com. There are many others to choose from, or you can hire someone from Fiverr to do it for you. You may be shocked at how simple creating animated videos is today. Share your screen, some people will tell you not to do this, and it's true that it can be boring. But if you have something important to teach and sharing your screen is necessary to teach it, then that is what you should do.
Ask your audience to submit videos, another way to create video for marketing without ever having to do any of the work at all, is to host a contest and get your audience to create videos for you. You can send a notice to your customers and ask them to submit a video to win a prize. Whoever gets the most likes gets the prize, but have them sign a release so that you can use the video or clips of the video in your marketing and other areas of your business. Add text to your videos. To make videos more interesting, consider adding floating text, text boxes, and other text that further cement the point you're trying to make in the video. One thing you do want to be careful of, though, is too much text if you plan to use the video in a Facebook advertisement. Use clips, pics, and sound creatively, you can buy clips, pictures, and sound from reliable sources online that you can combine to look seamless using software like MS PowerPoint, Camtasia, https colon slash slash www.techsmith.com slash video editor dot html or biteable, https colon slash slash biteable dot com slash there are even free open source options if you look for them. It's amazing how many ways you can create effective marketing videos without ever appearing in the video. After all, the video isn't about you. It's about your audience, their problems, and your solutions. What better way to demonstrate that than to stay off your videos and focus on the message instead? Let's make it super simple to get started making marketing videos even if you're shy. Take the time to study your audience, identify their pain points, and if you've already been creating content for them, look at your most popular and successful efforts thus far. That's where you will want to start. Use those topics as ideas for your first videos. Even though you've already blogged about the topic, you can still make videos about it. In fact, Repurposing written content into video format is the best way to get started. Use PLR content for your first videos. It doesn't matter if it's your old blog posts or private label rights content that you have bought. Get started using a short blog post as your beginning, and before you know it you'll have covered all the topics that are already popular, discovered some more and built a large following. Imagine if you start today and create just one video per week. By this time next year you'll have 52 videos under your belt, a larger email list, and you'll be more comfortable, whether you appear in the video or not.